everyone, today is my first installment in a series I'm going to call Teacher Tips and Tricks. In this series, I'm going to go over how I set things up in my classroom, how I organize things, how I do different procedures. And along the way, there'll be specific little tips and tricks here and there. And hopefully all of this information can give you some ideas or give some inspiration of how to kind of change things or even start things in your classroom. Um, if you have any suggestions or requests, make sure to put them in the comments down below. I have plenty of ideas, but I know I'm going to run out, so please let me know. Um, and a big disclaimer before we get started, I know that I'm not 100% the best teacher. We are all constantly, constantly learning. So I have found a lot of things that are very effective for me and are super, super helpful to be a good teacher. I'm very fortunate in that case to have found all of these things and have been able to put them into place. Um, so that's why I'm starting this series because I'm hoping to share these things that have worked so well for me in my classroom and give you some ideas, okay? Um, another disclaimer about this video specifically. Um, <laughs> This is one of the first videos that I've done some kind of real editing with in Adobe Premiere. I really love Adobe Premiere because it has infinite possibilities in terms of all the things that you can do. There's tons of different effects and you can even make your own. Um, but the thing with that is that there is of course a big, big learning curve. Um, so there's gonna be a little bit of roughness along the way, so bear with me. Um, and also throughout this process, I've been learning um, what is the best thing to do in terms of how to film clips and what to do to prepare for the clips to make them a little prettier, to make them better. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the series and let's get to it. Hello everyone. Today I have finally updated my sub binder for the 2016-2017 school year. Um, so I thought I would share what information I provide for a sub and how I have that organized. So my sub binder lives on my desk with all of my other binders. It always stays there. It's a different color so it's more noticeable. Very clearly labeled what it is and the people in the office know it's there so if they can't find it they know where the info is. Um, so let's pull it out and look at it. Got a nice cover. I actually got some ideas from another teacher many years ago and kind of morphed and altered them to my own liking and needs. Um, front, we have some notebook paper for sub notes on behavior, whatnot, whatever they want to tell me. And then first section we have is general information. Um, in general for information, I have a welcome letter talking about my classes, what art can be like, um, cla uh, let's see what else, um, behaviors, kind of reminding the sub that they are in charge, did not just leave it to me to kind of take care of the things that go on, um, all sorts of stuff. Um, and then my cell phone number, I think it's always a good idea to leave the sub your cell phone number. They normally don't ever call you, but you know it's there in case they want to call you. Um, then this little note, which I probably should highlight, <laughs> is one of the most important things because it talks about expectations and routines, which is going to come up here in a minute. Next tab, it says special programs. Um, this is just a list of students and their accommodations for special programs. Um, kids who are in SPED, 504, things like that. These are their um, accommodations. Um, our district requires us to share that information. Not every district does, um, but to kind of help students get their accommodations as much as possible, that's there. Next tab is that expectations and routines. So in this section, I list all of my rules. I talk about the attention signal. Um, I talked about uh, passes, like all the general kind of procedures. I even put a note in here during the conference period um, to kind of clean up a little bit. Um, I talked about general notes about supplies, expectation for supplies while the sub is there. Um, and then a reminder about my desk. I've had students go behind my desk without my permission and steal my pens. 
So that's there. Um, next is a uh, bell schedule. Yes, I get out at 4 o'clock. Oh my gosh. And then behind that, as you can kind of see through the paper, is my class schedule. Then um, next, this is a map of my classroom. I put some little colored labels to say kind of where general things are to help the sub. Then the next paper after that has a lot of stuff covered up, but it's a map of the school. Um, next paper are helpful people that the sub can contact with the school phone, assistant principal, principal office. Um, then neighbor teachers, I have a handful of really awesome neighbors who can help set up with lessons. My phone number again if they need help. Um, next and last section in general information are um, by period a list of students who will be helpful. Now these students don't really know that they're on that list but they will always help so I kind of just give the sub a little guidance in case they need help. Next section I'm not going to open it because their kids names are everywhere on it. Um, but as the label says, it lists the seating chart and rosters by class period. You can kind of see the little labels. I have one per class period, seating chart, and the roster behind it. Okay, next section is emergency information. And I have two sections here. First one is current lesson, so if I plan to be out, I put the information here. I put originals to be copied if, in case they run out of copies. Anything that the sub will need is here. Um, and then a last tab has been used quite a lot because I don't normally be out unless I'm sick. Um, is emergency lessons. In here, of course, I point out don't use these unless there's nothing in the other section. Um, and here are all of my kind of sub lessons, and I've built up quite a few over the years. Um, this year I added, I think, like six more because some of the students I have this year is my third year having them, and so I kind of wanted to have some new things in there. Um, so on the emergency sub lessons, I have a picture for the example list of the supplies they need and I make sure to only have just generally pencils, markers, color pencils, and regular paper. For this exception there's grid paper but I stuck a, a sheet there. Um, and I do that so that these are supplies that are always out. So that it's always there no matter what. Um, then I list the steps and I make sure that these are pretty straightforward and easy. And then I list for cleanup. Now this is, I think, the same notes on every single one, but I just make sure, put that on there and make sure that they remember to clean up at the end. And then kind of same thing for the other ones. Um, a lot of these lessons I know are really good, so I'm kind of happy about them. That is my sub binder. If you have any questions, please make sure to leave them in the comments below. Um, make sure to subscribe if you like teacher videos and want to see more. Um, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.